ரத்னவாணி தொண்ணூறு புள்ளி எட்டு சமுதாய வானொலி ஒலிபரப்பு கோவை ஈச்சனாரி ரத்தினம் கல்லூரி வளாகத்தில் இருந்து ஒலிபரப்பாகிறது Greetings from Ratnavani 90.8 Community Radio. We used to give lot of updates regarding educational information either in domestic value kind of a Coimbatore update or our institution Ratnam Education Institutions updates. Today on that basis we are going to see what exactly EDI meant for. EDI is known as Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India and it has been explained from assistant faculty Mr Sugail Palka so i welcome Mr Sugail to our panel to discuss regarding what EDI meant for on the target people how Ratnam education institution is contributing their skills to provide EDI development uh, entrepreneurship development institute of india it is a, an international acclaimed center of excellence in entrepreneurship education training and research which was started in the year of 1983 by the leading financial institutions in the country like IDBI Bank, IFCI, ICICI Limited and LIC. And with the support of the government of Gujarat, we have set up a very good campus out of the state facilities in the city of Ahmedabad, just 5 to 6 kilometers away from Ahmedabad airport. And we are into the area of entrepreneurship development in the form of entrepreneurship education, entrepreneurship research, training, capacity building, business development. So we have main uh, main area of our work is in education institutions we train students to become entrepreneurs. So we generate entrepreneurs for among the students. We go to the field, we go to the real market where we train those aspiring entrepreneurs how to set up their business very successfully and systematically and we work with industrial clusters we work with hand- handicapped clusters we work with artisans clusters to make them more competitive to develop their skills so that they will get a better market in the like in the field so that we are developing these kind of traditional industries to be competitive in the modern market and moreover we work with different corporate in implementing their corporate social responsibility fund and under which uh, we are working in different areas like micro enterprise development program women entrepreneurship development program and uh, we are working with uh, this uh, occupation health standard training we are working with lean manufacturing training energy efficiency manufacturing training these all areas we are working with uh, in association with different corporates like accenture facebook hp yes bank these are the main corporate presently we are working with and we are looking for working with different corporates in the area of community development and the upliftment of the poor people and the promising project of the present uh, central government under the leadership of uh, narendra modi ji the startup india we are in we are implementing the startup in india project in the name of startup village entrepreneurship program svep we are piloting it around 30 block panchayats across the country what we are doing in is in it is we are going to remote villages where we are identifying people and we are working with them to develop their livelihood so that our villages will become self reliant self sufficient over the period of time these are the main activities we are doing apart from this in 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 terms of education we are running two full time mba equivalent pgdm program in entrepreneurship and development studies where we are uh, offering two years full time mba program through that also we are creating successful entrepreneurs and development professionals for the country and throughout the different throughout the country with the support of with association of different institutions we are running different training programs educational program short duration crash courses in different aspects of setting up and running a business Coimbatore is uh, known to be an entrepreneurial city in India because we have lot of small scale industries small scale enterprise many, many of the people even after their study they generally don't want to work they want to do something their own so what edi is looking for we are just uh, we are really working out with different different partners like retinam institution and other other ngos where we can really interfere and intervene with the industrial sector and small scale sector so that we can renovate these industries through giving training capacity building giving them more advanced uh, opportunities to develop their business that is what we are looking for that that is what we are here to like associate with ratnam institution other other institutions so what kind of a project ratnam has uh, with edi can, can you mention some example as a practical knowledge 
see like uh, with, with Rathnam institution we started this uh, dialogue some four months back but immediately after the initial talk the Rathnam institution and its management took a very good interest and effort to make it uh, like a real like a real event and real uh, the, the reality to open the entrepreneurship development center in the Athenaeum institutions. Within three months of time, they have set up their center, they have launched, uh, like, launched their center, and now what we are looking for is, we will be uh, working with Athenaeum institution, first one, to train the students of Athenaeum institution in an entrepreneurial way, so that we will be uh, like generating some successful entrepreneurs from the alumnus of Athenaeum institution. That is one. Second thing, we are really looking for to associate with the industries and industry associations in Coimbatore and we will be gradually moving into develop capacity building programs, management development training programs so that we can we can see that the entrepreneurial culture in Coimbatore is again again, again rebuilt, re, re, revived. So that is what we are looking with Retinum. So we are uh, immediately we are going to launch a program for the micro and small entrepreneurs in the in the city by training them how to use social media platform to promote their business practically. practically. So we will be having that uh, training program like maybe in the like first week of August we are going to have that program in Dathinam Institution in Coimbatore that is going to benefit the micro and small entrepreneurs to exactly exploit the power of social media to promote the business. See, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in community radio kind of thing, many, many a time what happens is governments and other agencies, they come with different schemes for supporting business, for supporting self-employment, so supporting livelihood development. So these kind of platform, radio, FM radio kind of platform can be used to communicate with people. These other schemes are available. Please do the application. Please do the this thing. So that what happens is many a time people will forget at what is the last date of applying for different schemes. So these kind of thing can be a reminder for them so that people will not miss any, any kind of this kind of facilities. Promotion. Yeah, promotion center. Anyway, thank you so much, sir. And uh, best wishes. Welcome. இந்திய குடிமகளின் சார்பாகவும் ரத்னவாணி நேயர்களின் சார்பாகவும் ரத்னவாணி தொன்னூறு புள்ளி எட்டு சமுதாய வானொலியில் இந்தியாவின் பதினான்காவது குடியரசுத் தலைவராக தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்டுள்ள திரு ராம்நாத் கோவிந்த் அவர்களுக்கு நமது வாழ்த்துக்களை பதிவு செய்கிறோம்